Hello, I'm James. I'm the Luminaires Product Manager at Hall of Fame Europe Limited. I'm excited to introduce the all-new VMAX, Hall of Fame's most comprehensive street lighting solution to date. Combining market-leading features, the latest LED technologies and exceptional optical performance, VMAX delivers a competitive, whole-life street lighting solution. Retaining the unique patented design inspired by the original award-winning formula, VMAX once again redefines what a market-leading streetlight should be. In this video, we will cover some key highlights and features of the new VMAX and a detailed installation and maintenance guide. The new VMAX is available in lumen packages from 2,000 lumens all the way up to 54,000 lumens. Again, using our proven patented chevron design, the new VMAX goes from V1 all the way up to V6. VMAX is available with a large range of optimised optical distributions in order to achieve best-in-class spacings, lighting performance and energy efficiencies across all roadway classes. Coupled with a lumen output of up to 54,000 lumens, VMAX is suitable from residential roads all the way up to major highways. VMAX has an IP rating of IP69 and rated to IK07. As an option, VMAX is available with a polycarbonate optic, which achieves IK10. VMAX comes prepared for the next generation of control solutions and technologies. Available with either NEMA or ZD4i compliant Zarga sockets, VMAX can be utilised with a wide range of sensors, devices and communication nodes. VMAX is available with a range of spigot adapters to meet different installation requirements. All spigot adapters have the ability to be rotated so they can be used in either post-op or side entry configuration. For VMAX configurations using three chevrons or more, a strengthened spigot adapter is used for increased safety. VMAX has been designed with installers in mind, with features such as toolless entry, a removable head, a built-in service position, while also combining a raft of safety features for peace of mind. These will be covered in more detail throughout the video. Let's look at how the new VMAX is installed and maintained. As standard, the new VMAX comes with bolts to secure the canopy. Optionally, the VMAX can be built with toolless entry latches. To open the luminaire, first loosen the bolts using a 5mm hex bit, or if fitted with toolless latches, these need to be unclipped as shown. For VMAX configurations with three chevrons or more, a wire rope and mini carabiner are fitted to prevent the canopy from swinging open and potentially causing injury. Unclip the carabiner as shown to allow the canopy to fully open. With the canopy at 90 degrees, it can be slid into the locked service position. This will prevent the canopy from moving during installation and maintenance. For VMAX luminaires, without factory fitted flying leads, please follow these initial instructions. Pull the flying lead through the M20 cable gland and next through the strain relief zip tie. Then tighten and secure the zip tie to the flying lead. Next, terminate the flying lead into the terminal block. The terminal block has a push fit feature and requires no tools. The terminal block is labelled accordingly. Finally, tighten and secure the cable gland to a torque of 3 newton meters. To close the luminaire, release the VMAX from its locked service position. Ensure the safety wire rope is reattached before closing. Then secure the canopy with the bolts and tighten to 2 newton meters. Or if fitted with tallest latches, ensure the latches are fully engaged on both sides. Feed the flying lead down the column and slide the spigot adapter of the luminaire over the spigot of the column. Tighten the luminaire grub screws using a torque wrench to 8 newton meters. Depending on the spigot adapter used, a 5 mil or 4 mil hex bit is required. If mounting the luminaire in a side entry configuration, the optional spirit level can be used to ensure the luminaire is level. To adjust the tilt of the luminaire, partially loosen the two spigot adapter bolts using a 6 mil hex bit. This will allow the luminaire to be moved in two and a half degree increments from minus 10 degrees to plus 10 degrees. There are visual indicators on the luminaire to aid in achieving the desired degree of tilt. Once in position, tighten the bolts using a torque wrench to 12 newton meters. 
please do not adjust the tilt of the luminaire unless you have consulted the lighting designer. Complete all electrical connections and ensure the Smart ID tag supplied in the box is placed at the bottom of the column as per installation instructions. Using a smartphone, this will allow you to scan the QR code and access unique details such as the product specification of the associated luminaire and also allows you to report any maintenance issues or unlikely failures. To carry out any maintenance on the luminaire, first loosen the canopy bolts using a 5mm hex bit. We're fitted with tallest latches, these need to be unclipped as shown. For VMAX configurations with three chevrons or more, a wire rope and mini carabiner are fitted to prevent the canopy from swinging open and potentially causing injury. With the canopy at 90 degrees, it can be slid into the locked service position. VMAX has been designed to allow the canopy, including drivers and light engines, to be easily removed. To do this, first disconnect the orange and white quick connectors and then unclip the secondary safety wire rope. Release the canopy from the locked service position Next, rotate the canopy head to 45 degrees and this will allow the canopy to slide out and away from the hinge. To replace the canopy, please carry out the previous steps in reverse as shown in the video. The VMAX chevrons can be changed if required in situ. Begin by loosening the bolts using a T30 Torx bit. This will allow the chevron to be moved away from the spine. Take care to support the chevron during this step. Next, disconnect the quick connectors to allow the chevron to be fully removed. To reinstall the chevron, repeat the previous steps in reverse as shown in the video. Ensure the bolts are tightened using a torque wrench to 4 newton meters. The VMAX can be supplied with an optional built-in anti-fall device. Coupled with the lanyard accessory kit, this ensures enhanced safety in the unlikely event the luminaire should come away from the column. First ensure the wire rope loop and jubilee clip have been placed onto the column before luminaire installation as shown in the video. The jubilee clip needs to be tightened to either a torque of 6Nm or 18.5Nm using a 10mm or 13mm hex socket depending on the spigot diameter. Once the luminaire has been installed, simply clip the carabiner onto the anti fall device. VMAX spigot adapters have the ability to be rotated so they can be used in both post-top and side entry configurations. The SE1 spigot adapter option allows for almost universal mounting onto a range of spigot diameters. To change a spigot adapter orientation, first completely remove the two bolts using a 6mm hex bit. This will allow the spigot adapter to be rotated as shown in the video. Once in the desired position, tighten the spigot adapter bolts using a torque wrench to 12 newton meters. The SE1 spigot adapter includes an internal reducer suitable for 34mm and 42mm spigot diameters. Note the orientation of the reducer in the video. Ensure the threaded hole with a larger 20mm spacing from the end of the reducer is at the rear. Using the M8 by 16 mm grub screws at the bottom of the adapter first, secure the reducer inside the spigot adapter. Tighten to 8 newton meters. Next, insert the M8 by 30 mm grub screws on the opposite side of the spigot adapter. The luminaire is now ready to be installed. The reducer can be rotated within the spigot adapter depending on the diameter of bracket being used. As you've seen, the new VMAX truly delivers an unparalleled street lighting solution, which has been designed to meet the needs of all stakeholders throughout the product lifecycle. For more information on the new VMAX, please contact your local Hall of Fame representative or visit holofame.co.uk.